Hey, good morning, everybody. How you doing? Uh, maybe it's not morning. Maybe it's like middle of the night for you or like two in the afternoon. So, uh, but uh, it's morning for me, kind of, and I'm having my coffee. But hey, listen, I'm going to talk to you about something important. Vegas, Paris. That's what I'm going to talk to you about. No, kidding. I love Vegas. But anyway, um, if you haven't been to Vegas, you should go. It's really fun. Anyway, um, no, I'm not talking. I'm going to talk to you about this is, listen, I have people call me all the time. Yeah, about manufactured home, mobile homes, okay? And this is something you need to understand, okay? A lot of money to be made in manufactured homes. I have made home runs on, I don't think there's a, well, I think there's only one uh, manufactured No, I, I made a home run on every manufactured home I've ever done. Even that one I was vacillating back. I actually made money on that deal. Um, just so much money, but you got to know what you're doing, okay? So you want to make home runs? You want to make some money? Listen to what this video is. Subscribe. Right now, we'll click subscribe, share, and like. You got to. Here's why. Because it's God's will. Secondly, this these videos will help you learn, will help you make money. You want to make money? You want to understand how real estate works? Subscribe. Because these videos are for you to make money, okay? Do I make money? I like make money. So that's what these are about. Stuff like this, no one ever told me about, all right? So manufactured homes, listen to what I'm saying, okay? Here's the deal. If you're going to flip or you're going to wholesale, you've got to understand how manufacturing works, okay? As with any transaction, if you're going to wholesale or you're going to flip, okay, they work together, right? The, 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 what's driving the whole equation, right, is your end user buyer. You follow me, right? The guy who's going to be funding it at the end. And these guys typically, 90% of the time, whatever it is, 88.63% of the time, whatever, it is, is they're going to get a loan, okay? So what, here's what you're dealing with. You're dealing with whoever is the lender on these loans, right? And they're, you know, if it's a bank, you have what's called investor overlays, all right? Write that down. And you may have to hit pause in this video. If so, hit pause, rewind investor overlays okay and uh, it could be also fha guidelines okay and this the, i'm not a lender these videos aren't to give you lending advice nothing like that what i'm giving you is real world, world experience and the job my job is to help you connect the dots okay so listen to what i'm saying listen the, whoever's buying any kind of property be it a manufactured home a single family or duplex whatever it is it's whoever the, the lender is. And I've got some other videos you can watch on this about how this whole thing works, what the lender's looking for and appraise and all that crap, right? So this is the issue. You, you, who, in a manufactured home situation, what you have to appease is the end user's lender. You follow me? So you might have Fred and Betty, they want to buy the home, they love the home, it's beautiful, manufactured home, it fits their budget, but you have to deal with what the lender, their lender, Fred and Betty, they have a lender, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, whatever it is, uh, are going to lend on a house. Does that make sense? So here's my point. And, the, and so the lender has, they, they are concerned with what well, they have, what they call investor overlays, or they're also limited by what FHA guidelines are. Okay. So, and those fluctuate all the time. So I'm not going to sit there and try and give you a list of what the guidelines are right now because they always change. So that behooves you to engender, that's right, I said engender a business, a very good business relationship with a lender. You follow me? You need to have, I don't care if you're a wholesaler, you need to know what the market is. You've got you to you own the stuff. Go out to lunch with the lender, go to coffee, go to the pub, whatever you got to do. Learn. Go to his office and talk to him, whatever. Learn what, what's going on in the lending world, okay, because that's really going to help you. Okay, all right, now, now we got all that way. Here's the deal. When you have a manufactured home, Here's the issue. Most lenders, conventional and proper lenders, right? FHA, the whole thing. Manufactured homes, they do not want to have a, uh, they will not fund, essentially, any manufactured home that has been moved more than once. Do you follow what I'm saying? So this is how they want to see, this is, what, this is how they live, okay? You buy some land and you go down to Fleetwood or whatever manufacturer and you buy a, uh, you know, Clayton Homes, whatever, and you buy a, manufacture home and they build it okay uh in the shop whatever they put on a truck and they drop it off uh in your lot and then there it is okay and it's recorded in the deed uh and with it is recorded a manufactured like a serial number for that manufactured home you follow what i'm saying okay and it's recorded it's been set here in this foundation blah 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 it's all certified you get a certificate of occupancy from you know your city your county whatever 
and you're good to go. Okay, good, and that that's fine. So, plenty of banks. Banks love that stuff. It's it's a brand new home, put there, everything's fine, copacetic, signed off, CFO, the whole thing, right? Okay, that's how typically lenders, uh, you know, this this is all just fine to do. And and I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna do some other videos about 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 this because if you get lots a free lot and some of these strategies i'm telling you you got a free lot you know man put a manufacturer if you can do it put a manufactured home on there because it's so cheap confound it cheap but you just money just dripping everywhere right now for you all you gotta do is get a free lot put a manufactured home on there like i just told you that scenario and you know make 50 grand okay now let's say though you're looking at you know you're, you're looking at a deal and you know George calls you, yeah, I'm going to sell my home, blah, blah, and you're excited. And maybe you're new at this. You haven't really done a lot of due diligence. And you're like, oh, my gosh, I can we'll make some money in this too. Yeah, so yeah. So you go over to George's house, drive out there, and boom, manufactured home. What do you do? Okay? It's so – before you start putting offers, listen to what I'm saying and take notes again. Okay? Here's the deal. You've got to make sure this prop, George's house, the seller's house, is – is this, if it's a manufactured home – has never been moved, okay? Because if it has been moved, you're snookered. You are really snookered. You're gonna have a very difficult time getting it sold. The only one who's gonna buy it is an investor and they're gonna either use their own cash or they're gonna use, you know, some some lenders and you know, quasi private money, hard money guys that, that lend on, you know, moved manufactured homes. They're hard to find, they're expensive, you know, it's more exotic deal and you have a lot more money and skin in the game off of it. All right. So what am I saying? When you talk to the seller and you realize it's a manufactured home, here's what you need to do. Okay. You want to find the manufacturer's serial number on that manufactured home. You follow me? How do you find it? You look around, you know, and the, 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 the dude living in there ought to know where it's at. If he doesn't know where it's at, then you need to find it. Okay. Look around, maybe the water heater area, Whatever, find that. Take a picture. We all have these cool phones. When I first started, we didn't have that. You like write it down. Right? But no, picture. Okay. Second of all, go to title. Okay. You go to the county, but no, you're a professional, right? You're that's what we do in these videos. You could be a real estate professional. As a professional, you go to title and say, hey, you know, I just want to make sure. Can I do a title search to make sure that this uh, home has not been moved, right? And, and they'll pull a title and they're going to see when it was moved, you know, when it was built and all that stuff, right? Whatever year. And they're going to tell you. And you get a copy of that deed when it was moved. Do you understand that? And, and in it's going to have the manufacturer's serial number on that. It's going to match that, that number on the deed. is going to match what you, you know, the picture you took of the thing on there, right? You follow me? Of the manufacturer serial number on, on the actual trailer or whatever, home, okay? Now you're good. Right, so then when you have that information in your arsenal, then put an offer to, to George, the seller, you know, whatever, low ball. And, and, and if you're going to flip it yourself, keep that information, that deed and that, you know, one of his boot and all stuff, and then that serial number. So that when your buyer, end user buyer, when the lender's going to ask for it, boom, there it is. It's done. You have to worry about it, okay? You do not want to have, buy it, all stuff, and then in the closing, oh, yeah, I need a serial number and the deed thing. And then you go pull it and it's been moved twice and the whole thing blows up in your face and you've been in escrow for 60 days and it sucks. Ask me how I know that one. No, don't ask me that because I don't want to be in a bad mood right now. Anyway, you hear, my, you hear what I'm saying, okay? So that's what you want to do. You want to make sure that has not been moved and you want to be able to prove it with that deed, okay? Pull up the original thing okay? and just have a serial number on it. Have that information, okay? So then you put your offer in, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and that's it, bottom line. See how easy that was? Okay, that's just something you need to know. Now, if it has been moved, and you're going to get those, then, hey, your, your, your offer is low. I'm sorry if the seller wants a home run. You have to tell the dude, hey, look, I'm telling you right now, man, no one is going to finance this property. It's just not going to happen. The only one who's going to do it is a real cash guy. That's it. Bottom line, I'm really sorry. It's, you know, not your fault, of course, uh, but you're going to have to tell this. I say your fault, you as the investor talking to the seller. Yeah, it is the seller's fault, probably. I mean, they're the one that own it, right? But you, you, know, you get my point, okay? So to talk to them and just, you know, we got to do a cash buyer, you know, cash cash offer, okay? And I've made some money on these ones in the move, right? I told you home runs. You know, I've done some, uh, you know, did pretty good on those as well. You just got to find the right buyer, uh, your cash buyers who are wanting some buy and holds, okay? 
uh, all right, so they're, they're, you know that, that, that's bottom line how this works, okay? Um, if you have any questions on this, call me. My phone number's down here. Like this deal, but more importantly, subscribe. You gotta subscribe uh, because I can help you, okay? These videos will help you, all right? And if you have, again, more questions, put them in the comment section or call me. I can walk you through this. Tell you example after example of, of really big money making deals I made on this. All right, so uh, have a great day and uh, God bless. We'll talk to you in the next video. Take care.